Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can make full use of your calendar notes GTD style, means getting things done style. So the problem with your uh, with the calendar notes, the daily notes, is often that you have to forward uh, tasks which you haven't finished yet to the next day, from yesterday to tomorrow. And if you keep writing a lot of things down, like many tasks and bullet points and so on, there are a lot of things which you have to cut and paste or copy or drag and drop and so on. But to avoid this, and there's a solution to this problem, is to use also the higher up notes, such as the weekly notes and monthly notes, and also to some extent quarterly or yearly notes. And in this video, I want to show you how you can use them so you have to, uh, so you don't have to forward so many tasks or so many things from one day to the other. So the solution is. Or one part of the solution is to keep your daily notes small and manageable so you don't have to move too many things forward, if anything. And so it's re relatively fast to review your daily notes and, and easy. And you can do this by deferring some of your tasks uh, f into your weekly or monthly notes, especially your weekly notes. The advantage of deferring your tasks or uh, offloading them to higher up notes is that you have to uh, review the weekly and monthly notes just weekly or monthly. So you have much more time in between. And ins you can also use regular notes to offload some of the tasks, of course, like project notes and so on. But the advantage of using calendar notes for this is you have a natural built-in uh, date for reviewing them. So when a new week begins, your weekly note is empty. So you have to start with something new and the best way is you go one week back, see what's still important, and then copy it forward. This is my daily note of today. So Friday is almost over, and I have a couple of tasks still left over here, but the most important ones are already done. And I have at the top here, week 37, um, the weekly note with a couple of headings, which, are f which I'm usually collapsing, otherwise it would take up too much of the screen. I have goals. Then I have issues. So goals I keep uh, relatively small and I change this every week usually. Or if I don't achieve the goal, I forward this goal forward to the next week. Then I collect, and this is specific to your use case, but I collect uh, issues or bugs about no plan. This list looks long, but there are much longer lists <laughs> somewhere else, like in Trello or Jira and so on. So in this, this specific list, I try to keep as short as possible and I do this first I if something seems important I note it down in the weekly note or I drag it from uh, today for example let's take this bug I want to add this to my weekly note I just drag and drop it into issues and then here it is at the top so you don't even need to open your weekly note in this case um, but if you are finished with everything and you want to do the next task usually this is my prioritized list of things I want to do and I try to keep the most important tasks at the top and uh, the lo less important tasks at the bottom and since it's a weekly note I review this once a week and in this I take this opportunity to weed out low priority bugs or uh, ideas and so on which I've collected during the week so let's open the complete weekly note. So I already was showing you the goals. Then we have the issues. And very often when we change the week, like let's take next week, um, you see a couple of tasks here already existing here, which I have scheduled from the past or I have uh, deferred them by putting them in a future week. But I copy most of the weekly tasks which I have here into the next week when the week ends and when I have to review it but I don't copy everything forward because I don't want this list to grow and grow and grow of course I check off a few things during the week hopefully but uh, most things I am not able to to complete but uh, in the beginning or in the in the moment on this specific day for example when I note or add a task or bug or whatever here to this weekly note it seems important but then the next day when you review everything in total, like look at your big picture, then some of those things which you note are not that important actually in context. Isolated, they seem important. So this is the idea of reviewing things. 
sometimes things don't appear or are not as important as they appear in the beginning. So these are my lists for improvements and issues. Could be anything, any kind of tasks which you have here. So I don't want to have them lingering in my daily notes. So what I do is I offload them to my weekly note. So it's my running weekly note basically, which I try to maintain every week. But then I also have a monthly note. And here I do some more general planning um, for the month. And here I don't usually don't keep the um, tasks, but some I have here. Uh, I have some monthly tasks like paying rent, uh, some warnings so I, I don't forget to do something. So from here, let's jump to the next month. Uh, I also have, for example, I have deferred a couple of tasks, which I know I need to check next month. I don't need to copy them forward as a reminder from day to day. I know I need to review every week my weekly note, every month my monthly note. So I know when those tasks need attention, they are in the right monthly note when it's needed. So um, to keep, so in short, to keep your daily notes short, as short as possible. So this one accumulated a couple of things already. I would have to, um, move them into other notes. But um, also one thing to keep in mind is you don't need to forward everything. If it's not important, you can just leave it in a, a daily note in the past, review it maybe sometime later, but you don't need to forward everything. You don't need to keep your daily notes super clean. For example, here's a yesterday's daily note and it's relatively short. I note down a couple of thoughts, couple of errands, tasks for no plan, and here is one task which I'm doing right now uh, and I kept it open and now I can check it off but I have always a couple of tasks which are open and you don't need to s close them all. Um, so you don't need to uh, feel this pressure of checking off everything or off offloading everything. But if you uh, want to keep reminders about important things, I recommend to offload them into the weekly notes or the monthly notes. Also, now getting to getting things done, um, these are kind of someday or anytime notes. So some, if you want to do something someday, um, like s begin a new hobby, start a new sport or something, you can move it to uh, even higher up notes, like quarterly or yearly notes. If you want to uh, start playing tennis, for example, learning tennis, maybe next year, not this year, but some time next year, put it into the yearly note for next year. The only thing you need to remember in this case is to review all of these notes. Every week, review your weekly, every month, review your monthly note and so on. This way you always get reminded about those tasks and they don't become buckets which just fill up over time. They naturally, these are kind of buckets which are naturally getting reset at a specific point of time basically. And the advantage is that you don't have to review them so often like daily notes. You only have to review monthly notes every month, weekly notes every week and so on. If you need some help to remember uh, something specific like uh, your monthly goals and so on, uh, there are two things which I recommend. One is you can go into your monthly note and um, make a task. Like in this case, I, I do did it for pay rent. You write down your task, pay rent, and then the date when you need to do it. So the 1st of October in this case. But I often also write down review, in this case, September, September, and then 1st October. And this way you see this task in your daily note at the top. Or if you f forget one of these recurring tasks, I recommend to create templates. You can have daily templates. I have created, for example, one different template for every day. One for Monday, one for Tuesday and so on. This is one example. So uh, it's ju just a schedule what I'd want to do at a specific time. So it creates the time blocks for me and a prompt like thoughts and most important tasks. So I know what I need to focus on today. And this is very similar for every other day with just minor changes. And you can do the same for monthly notes. You can have a monthly schedule with important tasks like pay rent, review the month, 
and other recurring tasks. And, and these templates can help you to keep track of those maintenance tasks like reviewing notes. Okay, that's all for now. I hope this video was helpful and, and I could help you to tweak your workflow uh, using the calendar notes. They have been uh, definitely a game changer for me. You will not need your regular notes as much if you utilize the daily, weekly and so on notes very effectively. Let me know if you have any questions and see you in the next video.